yes, we have some, not thousands, some cases when Russian astronauts watched objects. Yes. Very, maybe few, not so far from the space station. Mostly over the Earth, very close to Earth, but it doesn't matter. From outer space, you can see it as if it's very, very close to you. And I talked to Musa Manarov and I talked to Gennady Strikalov and the other astronauts, and they m told me that they have seen much more cases of UFOs, but without possibility to film it, because he said, it's always like with Russians. When you see something, whether this camera is without battery or with battery lying at the other end of a spacecraft, or uh, as Musa once told me, I see strange, interesting objects, but at the same time a spacecraft is coming to me and I need to dock it and I can't leave the place and film it. You know, we have been investigating this particular question, and we came to very interesting conclusions. I wouldn't say that millions of people or thousands, no, but there are many people who have not been abducted because on their level of knowledge and on their level of understanding and abilities, they do not need to abduct people, no. Um, I will try to explain what's going on. When, when you say they, you're talking about the... It aliens. is, yes, it yes. is, it is. Um, when it is a coming, a flying here, um, there are some kind of a scientific expeditions which are visiting the planet. For us it was very unusual to find out that the deepest and the first, the most important interest for them is the God, who is He, they are looking and searching for God yes. and His uh, creation ways understand everything and they can learn it only in one way if they learn and check how big human groups are behaving, kind of an invisible influence and how people are reacting. At the same time, there is another very interesting technology. When they, it is, I mean, when they meet a person, they take from a person kind of a informational hologram. This hologram, which any human being have, um, contain in itself information about previous lives, about present life, and some, something about possible future. They take this hologram, informational hologram, and then to be able to read it, to decode information, they need to have a special key. This special key is the th sample of your way of thinking. For this reason, to have this key, they somehow transmit into your brains a hard idea, like, just an example, you are living wrong, you broke our laws on this planet. This is the reason why very soon when the, when the sky became dark, Thousands and thousands of people will die, and only few of them will stay alive. And at this particular moment, when a human being starts to analyze this, this information, 
they just read it, you know, like they take it like from a computer. Hops, that's it. They don't need anything. They take this hologram, they take this key, and then keeping this hologram anywhere there, they can have any information about a human being and what's going on with him and his surroundings.